Hello guys, welcome to next video. Today we're gonna discuss about genome analysis. What is the meaning of genome analysis and why we are discussing this on my channel? Because my channel is related to computer science only. But genome analysis is quite hot topic nowadays in the industry because different PhD researchers are working on, on it to make uh, different devices. So that to convert the DNA samples DNA samples data into into some scientific data. So so the problem is uh, that in order to uh, d discover the new drug source uh, or to uh, make some new or to find out the solution uh, cures of, of different diseases people are working on making new devices which can be used for uh, DNA sampling uh, and then we can use that data to uh, to do the further research in either medical field or, or some other fields uh, okay now we're gonna discuss about what are the processes involved in uh, genome analysis so let's dive into it first thing is sequencing now what does this mean is here we have human we take its DNA sample Okay, throw culture and everything. Then we have a device, which is of course an electronic device, which is of course an electronic device. Okay, we have an electronic device which we are using to, uh, to take the DNA sample of a human. Then we will convert this so this DNA device, we will convert this DNA into a sequence. As we know that the DNA is made up of amino acids. So essentially we will be converting this, this whatever the sequence is here in the DNA of the amino acids, we will be converting it to some data okay now the next next thing is this is sequencing like we just take the data data from the dna and throw it through an electric device that's it we ha now we have got the data so the second thing with that we need to do is mapping uh, now this data whatever sequence we have this is in the form of amino acids we have chains of amino acid we named it like a uh, we give it some alphabetic uh, characters in the next step we do the mapping now what does mapping means that whatever sequence we have we convert it into some scientific data like what we do if we have this acid like we have four acids one two three four we map it with some computing data like ones and zeros so these are binary numbers so we now we have converted the real data like that we got in the sequencing into mapping that is the binary data which a computer can understand now the next thing is variant calling now what is the meaning of variant calling is third thing is variant calling now what does this mean is that whatever samples we already have like we have this sample say a 
and we are taking a new sample say n we compare this new sample with the other sample that is a so this is called variant calling like we try to compare that the new dna that we have taken how much this differs from the last dna samples the other dna samples that we already have so genome is, genome is a big project genome analysis is a big project nowadays uh, there are a lot of dna sequences that have already been collected and whatever dna new sequence is collected is also mapped with with the uh, all the other dna's that we already have in our data uh, in our database so the next thing that only thing that is left in genome analysis process is scientific discovery now what does this scientific discovery means scientific discovery means that now we have sequencing we have done with sequencing okay all done next term we have done with the mapping of the data next term we have checked the variant next term scientific decision now based on the dna sequence that we have achieved uh, in the form of zeros and ones that is in the computer uh, computer's memory now we're gonna check what kind of uh, research we can further do on uh, by using these this data and can make new medicines or can or can also make uh, some changes uh, can also prepare some cures for the diseases that are Im uh, not curable nowadays so this is what genome analysis is let's sum up this lesson what does what is the ending point what we have learned so far in this lesson let's see so what we have learned is genome analysis how we do it number thing is number one thing is sequencing number two thing is what it is it's mapping number three thing is variant calling number four thing is scientific discovery so in this video we have learned about dna sequencing or oh sorry genome sequencing and these are four steps involved in this process thanks for watching this video uh, please uh, subscribe and like share and comment this on this video and if you find this use useful please share it with your friends as well thank you for watching